Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to provide a quick tutorial on how to connect your SkyTrack to GS Pro. Um, so our first step is we're going to launch Discord and find our way to the SGT Discord and find the section called SkyTrack Connection Help. Uh, if you scroll all the way to the top of this, you will find the latest version of the SkyTrack interface along with some detailed instructions on how to install this. Uh, as of today, February 9th, 2022, the current version is 1.8, but they will continually update the latest versions here. So we'll start by downloading the latest version of the interface by clicking on this link. It'll direct us to the spot within the, the Discord page where this file is, where I can then simply download this. It'll bring a, it'll download a zip file, which I can then open and extract all to a location on my computer. Uh, I'm going to browse, it recommends somewhere within the documents folder or really anywhere away from just the uh, directly onto the, the C drive to avoid permissions issues. I'm going to throw it into this folder called new folder for now. Uh, you can create any folder and name it whatever you'd like. Um, so I'm extracting it there and I'll have all the files on my PC. The next step would be to ensure, going back to the SkyTrack connection help page, would be to ensure that you have the latest version of .NET. Um, I already have this, but I can show you what it would look like. You click on that link, it automatically downloads. Uh, you would open this executable. Uh, I already have it, so my only option is repair or un uninstall. If you do not have it, you would be able to install. Uh, if you're unsure, clicking on repair, uh, doesn't provide, doesn't cause any issues, so I can do that now. Uh, hit repair, it'll run, it'll finish rather quickly, and we should be good to go. Um, the next step would be then to launch GS Pro from your desktop. So I will do that now by clicking the icon on my desktop. If this is your first time launching GS Pro, it'll launch a connection selector, as you see here. Um, you're going to want to select API version 1 control. So this is the, the connection interface for GS Pro. Uh, it's looking for a connection at the moment. So right now is when we want to run the connection file that we downloaded. So first things first, boot up your SkyTrack, make sure it's turned on. Then go to your folders, I'm going to go to new folder, and then you're going to find the executable, uh, which is GS Pro device interface, and this is what we had extracted to our computer previously. You could, you will get this message the first time you run it. Uh, you're going to want to go to more info and click run anyway. You will see that it has automatically discovered my SkyTrack. Um, if it did not, you have options here to search for a device and connect. Mine has automatically connected. It is also, as you see by the green in the interface, it is also recognized and connected to GS Pro. Uh, if it does not, you're able to connect here. Uh, but if you do it in these steps, you should see uh, that it connects automatically. I'm going to go ahead and hit a quick shot to show you that it's working. So if I then hit a ball here on my SkyTrack, you'll see that it registers. Well, let me hit one more. There we go. You'll see ball heads, ball speed, all the data comes across in the interface. And that's it. If you leave these things running, you can then go to 
Uh, any of these game practice, and again, I'll load up the driving range and just show you that if I go ahead and hit a ball, it'll come right through uh, from SkyTrack into GS Pro. There you go. That's how you connect your SkyTrack to GS Pro.